Look at the size of this puppy. Hopefully he's still good. Hopefully, hopefully. Oh, oh, oh. it feels good. Booyah! Look at that puppy! Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Hey, good morning. Today we're at Gong Creek Campground on Mount Hood. We're camping at Timothy Lake for the weekend. We're gonna make it a weekend of mushroom hunting, trout fishing, and eating some really great wild food. So let's get to it. Okay, so we set up camp and uh, we're out on the trail. We're just, I don't know, a mile and a half from the camp. We're at 3,500 feet. We're looking for some uh, porcinis and possibly some late season morels. It's a pretty cool area. There are some mixed furs. There are some grand furs. It's a likely place where we'd find some morels. So morels and the porcinis tend to like the same places. So let's uh, let's give it a ride and see what we can find. Well, we found something that's edible. It's not uh, it's not our favorite, but it's a uh, it's a good one. I found a nice young uh, coral that uh, looks relatively clean and firm, and I think we're gonna we're gonna take it because uh, I want to have something to go with our wild trout tonight. So let's have a look at this thing, and then we'll chop it up. Here we are. Check out this nice. Beautiful coral. It's not big, but it's young. So check that big dude out. Massive. It looks clean and good. But then look, boom, right there, right there. Another one, another one, another one. Oh my goodness. So this spot, right at 3,200 feet. Another tapping on it. Kabam! Oh, 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 oh. oh, let's go check this one out over here. Get, get. This, oh, oh, wait. There's two. A twofer. Hello, boys. <laughs> oh, woohoo! Oh, look. There's even more coming out here. That one seems kind of gushy. Another. Oh, look at this. Hello. Kaboom. Kablooey. Are we still? Ho, 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 ho. Wait, now let's go up here for the king daddy. Oh. Please don't be wormy. <laughs> Look at this. It's the size of my hand. That's a nine incher. Look. Pow. These all look pretty dang clean too and dry and firm. Look at that. Booyah. Okay, so we're still at 3,200 feet. I literally drove the truck down another, I don't know, 50 feet. And I'm looking on the side of the road. Look at that. Another porcini. I just lucked out. They're fruiting right here. 3,200 feet. Oh, that looks nice and firm. Oh, this might be a queen bolete. Look at how clean that puppy is. Just one of these puppies would be a meal. I just stopped to Take a look, get a little bit of firewood. Let's get some more of this. This stuff might burn okay. Not too wet. Somebody did all the work of getting firewood over here. Let's get a few of these for the fire. So we're back at camp now. Just finished up a great day of mushroom hunting. We found a ton 
know, porcinis. We're gonna clean them up in a little bit and we're gonna cook them tonight with some trout. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get geared up for trout, a little power bait on the bottom set up, and hopefully we get a nice rainbow or brook or brown that we can uh, put in the cast iron skillet and cook it up right next to some uh, delicious porcinis. Now this power bait set up, Really what you want to do, I'm going to be casting out pretty far and it's, it's pretty deep out there so I'm going with two, two little sinkers. Like that. If you got bigger sinkers then just use one. It's easier. But I don't have bigger ones so we're going with two. Then we want to put a little bead in there. keeps the weights from banging on the knot. And then we're gonna tie in a little swivel. Pretty simple, just a fisherman's knot. It's a pretty light tackle here today. I think I only got six pound line with the four pound leader. This is just P line floral clear. It's one of my favorites. It's a great, less expensive alternative than going full floral carbon. And we're going to do about 18 inches on the leader. We're just going to tie it straight in. It's just a little lighter, so in case we get hung up on some of the rocks, we just snap off our leader and won't lose all of our gear. Always make sure you tie good knots. It's time you rush it. It's time you're gonna hook in to a big fish and lose it. Because of a lousy knot. So, about 18 inches. When I fish for stock trout, I like to use a little tiny, I know you guys can't see this, but it's a circle hook. This is, uh, I think it's made by Mustad or Eagle Claw. You can get them online. The nice thing about these circle hooks is first of all, you don't have to set the hook. When the fish swims away with your bait, it's gonna catch them automatically. And it will also catch them in the lip instead of in the throat where most of these regular hooks end up. And then you gotta keep the fish regardless because it's gonna die anyway. So this way, you hook them in the lip, whether you want to keep them or not. Here we go. That's pretty much the setup. 18 inches off the bottom. Really small circle hook. And now we're ready to go fishing. Let's go. Fantastic fishing spot. Okay, so we made it down to the water. Put a little of this Berkeley Gulp on there. This is one of my favorites. We're just gonna put a small little ball of it on there. stuff is kind of neon pink and orange. You don't need a ton of it. So you can just take it, make it in a little ball, like that. And then just press your hook. 
hook into it. Press the hook around it. There you go. So you can see what, how big it is. Small little piece of bait. That's all you need. I'm gonna walk in on this dock. Cast out, see if I can whip it out there. Time, I'm not gonna be cold. Last time we camping, froze my tail off. This year, this time, I got a 15 degree bag and a liner and a down blanket. So I'm gonna be toasty. God, I better hope so. The sleeping bag liner is supposed to give you another 10 degrees or so of warmth on top of whatever your bag is already rated, so pretty cheap way to get a heavier sleeping bag. Okay. trout so we're giving up on it for now I think we'll go for the dam tomorrow and uh, but it's getting a little choppy out there right now anyway it's getting a little windy so I want to start working on these porcinis get them ready for dinner so we can cook them up with our steak so the well, first thing I want to do is put these mushrooms out for you guys to see Boom! look at that one two there Look at this King Daddy. What a massive mushroom. Here's another massive one too. Look at this. Look at this. Holy cow. But wait, there's more. Beautiful little one there. Another beauty. Look at this. It's getting out. I just can't even get it in the frame. Another one, look at this little baby one popping off of that sucker there. Oh, I hope these are all good and not wormy. Another beauty. And then I got these two little babies. So, brought my super expensive mushroom cleaning brush. Let me get to see that. It's a toothbrush. But essentially what we're gonna do, brought my camp and cutting board here. Just use two of them for now. Okay. Ready to go. Also got a bucket of water. I know, keep going. Help bucket of water to kind of scrub this stuff off. So, probably should get a towel too. I don't even know where to start. Look at all these things. Probably start with this big guy here. In the bowl. Well, unfortunately, a good portion of those porcinis, even though they were fresh and firm, they were buggy. So I had to get rid of them. But I did manage to salvage a few really nice pieces look at the size of those things and they got, they, they got a few bug holes in them no big deal but we're gonna cook them up anyway just gotta finish cleaning these guys up make sure they're good so all in all we got a pretty good amount of mushrooms not bad for a bonehead gonna do let's do cast iron for the whole thing steak and shrooms Alright, let's 
get our mushrooms going here. Steak out, gonna let it come up to room temp. These babies are done. Done. Mushrooms are done. Just so you guys can see. Check out what they look like when they're done. Oh yeah. Now we're ready. Put the steak in there. Give just a little bit of oil. So we're gonna get this sucker hot. And it's gonna be awesome. Okay, so I got a steak I've been marinating in. Montreal steak seasoning since yesterday. This should not take long. We're gonna go rare. That is what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. So we are done with the cooking. Steak is going to be a perfect medium rare. Get a little bit of our rice. Freeze dried vegetables. And I guess I could have put some mushrooms in there. That would have been good. Let's push that out of the way now. And for the bird. Let's get some mushrooms going here. And a jalapeno. That is Perfect looking. I gotta take a picture. Sorry. Oh, yes, sir. Okay. Let's go first bite while we're young. Get a taste of this mushroom here. Delicious. Unbelievably good. Wow. I can't wait to find some more. So we finished up dinner, got everything cleaned up. It's still nice and light out. The wind has finally calmed down. We came over to the other end of the, the lake where it's way calmer. The water's nice and green. It's not all churned up. And uh, we're gonna see if we can catch some trout. We got some trout for breakfast. Well, I'm all tucked in, ready to go to bed nice and warm it feels really good totally warm I'm not concerned about getting cold this tonight because it's gonna be perfect I got my windscreen I got the rain shield I got the hatches battened down and I'm good to go there you go out have fun tomorrow
Good night. Thank you.